What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. And today, I'm giving you guys the six best partial beard styles for your face. All right. Now, partial beards are a ton of fun because you get a lot more creativity, a lot more freedom to define the look and style you're going with. So I'm going to list out the most popular and the best partial beard styles, starting with the most common and going to the least common. Okay, with the first style, I would say almost every guy has them out there, whether or not he actually knows that he has them, and that's sideburns. Sideburns are something that I know personally I first started rocking and wearing back in high school. As soon as I could get any kind of facial hair, I, I grew it. And um, I have always been modest, you know, about this this uh, length of hair. And then I would take them down to right where my uh, dip is uh, above my earlobe. So that's about how long I would take them down. Now sideburns can be something as subtle as that, just kind of down a little bit. Or it could be like big bushy cheeks and it really kind of comes down to your genetics. As you can tell, I've got thinner cheeks which aren't as conducive as like the Elvis Presley style of sideburns, but you've got a lot of flexibility to play around with different options for the sideburns. All right, so I'm gonna lump together the next two on the best partial beards together. And the reason is because a lot of people actually get the names wrong. So these are goatees. Now, a proper goatee is actually just the hair on your chin area. So if you say someone's rocking a goatee, what you should think they're wearing is just a patch of, of hair right here. And the alternative, or what most people think a goatee is, is actually a circle beard. A circle beard is your mustache plus your goatee, and it's connected. So a circle beard is what most people think of as a goatee, when in reality, it's a circle beard. So those are the next two most popular ones. And they were really popular back in the late 90s. You know, everyone thinks of Jim Rome when they think of a goatee. And it's making a little bit of a comeback, but with a new twist. I think a lot of guys are now rocking the scruffy goat, which is the goatee, plus a little bit unkempt five o'clock shadow on the cheeks and on the neck. The next best partial beard style on our list is the whaler. And the whaler actually goes by a couple different names, the whaler or the Amish. There are slight differences in it, but the basic gist of it is a full beard. It can be short or it can be long, but you're shaving off the mustache. So for a lot of guys whose mustache comes in thin or a wispy, this is a great option to, to grow a full natural beard. Just shave the upper lip, have a cool presentation. Now, the Amish is going to be slightly different than the Whaler in the sense that they tend to also not just shave the mustache, but shave uh, the front of their chin area. So it's really more of, I wouldn't say quite a neck beard because a neck beard wouldn't have the cheeks. So it's the cheeks plus the neck beard and it goes out. So the Amish is not really a fashion forward, uh, primarily done because it's worn by a more fundamental religious type of person. So uh, the whaler is going to be a little bit more fashion forward, a little bit better option for those guys who want to be stylish, but they don't have the density or the good genetics to grow a good mustache. Now the second to the last on our list is for guys who can grow a pretty good mustache, goatee, and neck beard, but they're really weak on the patches. And that's the thing with all these partial beards is you get to grow what you got. And a lot of these styles are designed for people who can't grow certain areas of their beards. So this one is the Hollywoodian. It's also called the Balboa. Comes by a lot of different names, but it's essentially mustache, goatee, and neck beard. One of the guys, one of my friends here in Austin, Travis White, he rocks it really well. So he'll take it back to a point like this, and he can't even grow cheeks at all. And a lot of people think that he's rocking this style because it's a cool style, and which it is. But the reality is he does it because 
his cheeks just don't grow in at a well. Christian Bale is also another person who's rocked this. I think Leonardo DiCaprio in a longer form, and that's where it gets the name the Hollywoodian. A lot of these guys in Hollywood are able to grow in this pattern. And th Christian Bale's was like a little more bushy, a little more uh, ruffian, I would say, whereas Travis White, his style and his look is gonna be a little more refined, a little more sophisticated. So you can play around with the thickness, the length, and uh, how it comes together, if it's more of a point or if it's more of a, a rounded, bushy area. Now the final style on the partial beard list is going to be the Van Dyke. The Van Dyke is a very classic, very cool style in my opinion, but it takes a bold person to be able to wear it. It's not one that's very common, and it kind of is along the lines of, let's say, a walrus mustache. And I'm not quite sure why it's not super popular. I know Pierce Brosman has recently worn this style and it looks really cool. And the basic difference is a circle beard is essentially gonna be all connected, all tied together. Whereas with a Van Dyke, you're gonna see a distinguished separation between the mustache tied together with the goatee area. So you'll have the goatee, it can grow long, it can grow short, it can be thin, it can be thicker and then your mustache is going to be more of like a natural handlebar out to the side. It may be connected depending on your density, but typically you're not going to have the connectors here. So it's going to be a mustache plus a goatee uh, rather than a connected along the lines. So of these six partial beard styles, let me know what your favorite is and if you've rocked any of them. I'd love to read them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers and keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.